I hope you're all well. So today I'm filming this look for you. I use a lot of new products today that I've never used before, so I find videos like this quite interesting because you kind of get my first impression and I'm like excited because I'm using new products. But yeah, I filmed this look for you. Um, if you'd like to see how I achieved it, then please do keep watching. P.S. I'm not naked. I do have a boob tube on, but because of the angles, you can't see. There we go. <laughs> Enjoy. So first of all, I'm going to be using the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. This is a really soft primer, and it like blurs imperfections, as you can see. I put it on this side. It's sort of maybe it's going to look a little bit more red, actually. You know, it looks a little bit more red than this side, more yellow. Mm. That feels really soft. Oh my god, really soft. So the foundation, I'm going to go in the Becca. What is this called? Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream, and it's Becca's new foundation. And I'm using the shade Buttercup. However, I did just test it on my um, chin earlier and it is slightly too dark for me at the moment because as you can see, I'm super, super pale right now. I need to fake tan in a couple of days, um, but we'll make it work. It's the lightest one I've got, so we'll make it work because I just really want to use it because it felt really nice on the skin. What I'm going to do is use my brush at first and then maybe go in with the beauty blender because I don't know if thicker foundations like this might work better with just a brush. But look, it's like full coverage. But it doesn't feel really, really cakey at the moment. Let's see how it feels in a minute. And I'm going to have to rub this slightly into my neck because otherwise I'm going to look dodgy, especially because I've got my hair in plaits. <laughs> there is a lighter shade in this, um, which would have been better for me. I think it was called Sand. But I'm working with it. Just hope it doesn't go um, cakey. It might be nice with a bit of oil in. It took a bit of work, but maybe it didn't work very well with that brush that foundation. It's going out with my beauty blender. But I did actually forget to moisturise my skin today, which isn't good, especially for a full coverage foundation. So for concealer, I'm going to use the OG, which is my Maybelline um, Eraser Eye in Light. I just, I just can't get enough of this. You guys know by now, but I'm just obsessed. I feel like this is my fave for life just does everything I need, which is cover up those dark circles really. It's not as good at highlighting when I'm this pale because it's kind of the same colour as my foundation, but it's really good at masking those pesky dark circles. You can tell the summer holidays are over because I can hear school children <laughs> in a playground in my house. I forgot about this. <laughs> I haven't seen a makeup tutorial in a while, actually. For highlight, I'm going to be using Too Faced Love Light Blinded by the Light. And this is a nice um, highlight for when I'm feeling a little bit um, paler. And yeah. By the way, I am wearing a top. You just can't see it. It's a boob tube. It's annoying. I want it to show on camera, but can't see it, it's from Sort It First. I'll link it below so you can see what I'm wearing. So I'm popping this um, highlight in the usual places. Bring it back. I haven't used this in a while actually, this highlight. I do love it. Just ordered a couple of Fenty Beauty Bits, so hopefully they're good. And I've ordered a couple of foundations and I ordered them online, so that's probably not very wise, but I guess hopefully they'll be okay. That is nice. I feel like bloody jelly from the block with these hoops on. <laughs> Top of the lip. And then using my concealer brush, I'm going to run it down the nose. To set my under eye concealer, I'm going to be using the lightest shade out of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Trapping it under the eye. So you guys know I never really powder my face like all over, but I've got this new product from Becca if I can pick it up without spilling everywhere. And it just looks so pretty, like it is. It's called Soft Light Blurring Powder in the shade Pink Haze. Now, I don't know how this, this looks like milkshake, you know, like Nesquik. Um, but yeah, look how nice this packaging is. I'm just going to pop it. 
gonna, oh my god, pop it on my forehead first of all. I think I've picked up too much of the brush. It's just flatifying it down really and adding like, I think it's supposed to add like a no filter effect to your skin. Which I mean, no one's gonna be mad about that, are they? I'm gonna go around like this area, just avoiding my highlight really. God, the brush picks up so much. So this side has it on, and this side doesn't. I don't know if you can tell a difference. Just powdered my face down really. To contour and bronze up the skin, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Contour Kit again, and I'm gonna be using like the cooler tone shade and the warmer tone shade. I'm not gonna use the darkest shade because that is far too dark for my skin tone. And the only um, time I've ever used that is to um, use it as eyeshadow for me. I'm using my NARS ITA brush or ITA brush. And I'm first of all gonna, I'm just gonna mix the two shades together. Starting from the ear, angling down. This brush is really good if you wanna get a contour, you know. And then I'm just going to pop it around the top of my forehead. I've changed brushes because it's just easier to use like a bigger brush to do this. I'm just going to pop a little bit around the tip of my nose. The more cooler sh shade. And under my lip. So we're onto the eyes now. That's why I've zoomed in. And I'm going to be using this Knit Fab palette. And first of all, I'm going to go in with the shade mm, Suede, which is like the orangey matte shade at the top. Kind of, kind of like a nice lightish sort of colour. Great for transitions. And I'm going to be using my E40 brush from Sigma. However, I must say I do prefer my YSL brush cause just because it's more fluffy. This one feels a little bit more rigid, but they do exactly the same job. And now dogs. My dog's barking now. Great. So I'm just going to build this up so it's a bit more orangey, a bit more autumnal. Because I've got a face reality. Autumn is almost here. It's like we get to this sort of stage of the summer. And it's like, well, it's not really summer anymore, is it? Even though it technically is. So I'm also going to run this on the lower lash line. Same brush. So this is like my first step into autumn sort of look, I guess. I like my contour highlight today. Okay, so now I'm going to go for that shade in the bottom corner there. Like, right in the, not the darkest one, that one there, it's called Nirvana. I'm going to be using this Lily England brush. I use it in a lot of my tutorials. I have no idea what it's called, which is really frustrating, but it's got this nice, like, tapered like style to it but it's like oh my goodness did you just hear the cockerel so i've got children playing in the playground a cockerel and my dog's making noises today am i just not destined to film um run this through the crease i'm going to tip my head back a little bit and run it through the crease also going to run it on the lower lash line To be honest, when I have these like false lashes on, I need some more because they're like most of them are fed out. Um, I don't really even wear much eyeshadow, so um, because my eyes get hidden from all the lashes. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna blend that because that's not the best blend I've ever done in my life. Okay, I'm now gonna go on the base of the lid because this is the bit I'm excited for. And I'm going to use this gorgeous shade from Illamasqua called Horde. Now it's this like gorgeous, like, oh, it's just, I'm rubbish at describing shades. It's like a satin, like a, it's like a really nice, like warm, golden, beautiful, beautiful shade. 
and I'm just going to pop that all over the base of the, of the lid. It's quite glittery, but like not overwhelmingly. Since I put this on my lid, this colour would absolutely be stunning for like a wedding because it's not too much. corner of the eye because it's not too dark I think I could get away with it let's see what it looks like yes so that looks really pretty but just because it looks a little bit dark in this corner actually I'm just going to pop a little bit of my highlight what I've popped here the toothpaste one just on top of it a little bit see if that like oh yeah there we go brightened it up a little bit. Before I do my mascara, I'm just going to finish off my brows with a bit of YSL Couture Brow. I love this brow gel. I don't know the shade though. What do I? Oh yes I do, it's number two. I thought I never knew the shade to this, that's good, I can restock now. But then I do like a lot of brow gels, I was obsessed with that Illa Masca one, and then I got hooked on this. This has got a bigger like wand, so it's easier for me to use in a way. Just popping this through the brows. Fluffing them up as I like to do. For mascara, I'm going to be using Too Faced Step in 6. I'm just going to really do my bottom, I'm doing my bottom lashes. Then I might have to just press on the top ones just a little bit where they've gone a bit dusty. So for lips, I'm going to do a red lip today, and I'm going to be using Gerard Cosmetics Lip Pencil in the shade Immortal, first of all. The lipstick I'm going to use is freaking cool. I mean, look. Look at this. It's all marbled looking. Can you see? So cool, and it's from Illa Masca, and it's called Lava Lips Rebirth. I love that lipstick. Mm. I love it. Mm. Hope you do too. So this is the final look, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the look, and yeah, if you will try any of these products. I love all the new products I've used today. I'd love to use that foundation in the darker shade, and when I've got more tan on, well, when I have tan on, I just, oh, that lipstick. But yeah, um, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will speak to you soon. Thank you so much for watching.